Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Eid Mubarak, I hope you all have a beautiful Eid with your families. Um, today I'm gonna share with you guys, I'm gonna take you guys to Gambia. I'm gonna share with you guys a Nyelau. Nyelau is a, it's just like a rice couscous, but you can use a millet, you can use so many things to make Nyelau. But um, when I was growing up, my mom used to make it with rice and we love it. And I love it so much too. So I want to share with you guys this recipe. What you do, you soak the rice. Make sure you clean your rice very well. And then you soak the rice for two hours. Or one hour works too. Like sometimes my mom used to do it for one hour. It's depend on the day. Yeah. Um, sometimes we have this maybe every six months. <laughs> Yeah, not often, but like some we do, my mom used to make it. So I'm going to sift the rice, make sure you dry the rice, because if I'm going to do it in the food processor, like back home, my mom used to, we used to do in the modern pesto. So yeah, I'm going to do it and the rice, you break the rice down, it's not like a flour. You don't need a flour, it's just, I will show you guys how the rice it's gonna look it's gonna look like a very broken rice, but it's a little bit tiny. Maybe you broke the rice for four or five times, just like that. I'm just gonna do it a little bit more. You can see it's just like a couscous size. Yeah. Yeah, you can see this is the texture. So I'm gonna add it in the bowl, then I repeat the second batch yeah then i'm gonna add it in the bowl and i do the second batch there i don't know i'm just gonna add it in my steaming pot i'm using i add water and the bottom pot and i put it in the steaming pot and let it steam for 10 minutes or seven yeah around 10 minutes then i move on to make the peanut butter soup I already have a recipe of peanut butter soup. You can check it on my channel. But this recipe go with peanut butter soup. Then, yeah, to make the video a little bit fun. <laughs> yeah, then I'm making, I already have meat, onions, tomatoes going. Um, yeah, I'm gonna add seasonings. I will leave all the like ingredients. I already have the recipe. You can check that one out too. Almost the same. Yeah, now I'm just gonna move on to check on my rice. Then I'm just using the fork. Don't use a um, spoon here or wooden thing. Fork is the best option. It's gonna help it to be flappier. It's not gonna be like um, how they call it. yeah, like little balls. Don't use a spoon. Use a fork. It's better. Then I just turn it, then I cover it for another five to six minutes. Then I'm just gonna check it and turn it. I'm doing that and I have a little help there storing my soup, otherwise it's gonna be all over the stove. Then I add a little bit of water, then I, I will cover it. Then the next step, I'm going to take it out. If I let it steam for another five minutes, now I'm just going to transfer it inside the bowl. And I will add some salt. It needs salt and lots of water. The water helps the rice to cook. Otherwise, it's going to be dry. And you don't want that. It has to be moist and the rice to cook through. Like if you cook a rice or like just like a cook. So now I'm just going to transfer it and put the lid on, let it steam again. Basically this is all about steaming. Yeah, this is all about steaming and I add water, mix it through now I move on to the pin. I just add lemon, tomatoes, and let it cook, let it cook very low heat. And I move on to the rice. Then I cover it. Then the next step, I will check it. I'm just gonna 
add uh, lalo um lalo is a is our local um is it seasoning or local something like na we call it na in mandinka in wolof we call it um lalo so i don't know the name english how to call it so if you're someone you know the name you can just come in and share the name yeah i'm just gonna add it there and mix it through maybe some african soap like like if they have gambian african soap maybe you will find it there but for me my mom sent me this one so yeah um i'm just gonna add it there and steam it for just 10 minutes to cook the na the lalo yeah it's kind of slimy like it's a little bit slimy and if you want to see how to use the la lalo to make the spinner butter soup let me know in comment below yeah then now the peanut butter soup is done and uh, the couscous is the nyelanga is done and i'm just gonna show you guys as you can see it's all good it's cooked through if you use your right hand you will see it's cooked through then now i'm just gonna go and yeah i'm showing you guys how it looks like Yeah. Yeah, you can even store it in your fridge for one week. It's gonna stay fresh. And now I'm just gonna add the peanut butter soup. Very nice. It's so delicious. Like um, my family back home, my mom, we have it. Sometimes we have like second day of Eid. We used to make. We have this second day of Eid, and that's what I do. I didn't have any second day of Eid, but like after Eid, this is what I make. Then I want to share with you guys the recipe. It's Mubarak, and thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys soon in my next video. Make sure you try this recipe, and I will see you guys soon. Bye. I will catch you.